Hey, welcome to my episode two of Coaching the Cowboys. Uh, last time we left off, we were just starting the season, made my final cut, so kind of could keep it going. Every four or five games, just come in once a week and say what we're doing. So let's kind of look at what we've done. It hasn't been a very great season so far, but we have plenty of room for improvement. That's the good news. Let's look at some of the stats and scores. So week one, we played the Giants and lost uh, a really hard-fought game. We felt like we could move the ball. We, we did a pretty good job with the running game. Too many turnovers was the key to the game. So overall, Elliott got 100 yards rushing. First downs were good. Turnovers killed us, though. We had two interceptions by Dak Prescott. Um, and I believe two fumbles as well. And the Elliott had good. So it was, a, it was a good game, but our mine and Ryan games were always close. He just he had me that game. And then in week two, we had a snafu where we accidentally sim pass for some reason and went to week three directly so i got a lucky week two win i would have lost this game more than likely because master keys is playing about 10 levels higher than me right now but week three came along and this is where I really got hit in the face so lost three to 34 the cardinals like totally dominated the cowboys and not only on the field but physically like couldn't run the ball couldn't pass the ball got two first downs and they were in garbage time and, and the key thing in this i lost Dak Prescott to a five-week injury or six-week injury, Elliott to a four-week injury, and we also lost um, our backup running back, Alfred Morris. We lost Jason Witten just for the game and the backup tight end for the game. So we had a massive amount of injuries. We, we pretty much were skeleton crew on offense. Um, it was rough. I mean, we got just – it was probably the worst game of Madden I've ever played. So um, got to gotta improve on that. And then the next week we played the Rams with – but looked to be Derrick McFadden going to carry the load for everybody, and he we were up 23 to zero at the half. Cowboys were playing out of their minds, and had a lot of lucky breaks. And then all of a sudden, after halftime, uh, the Cowboys kind of came back to reality. So let's look at some of the stats from this game. You can see we moved the ball really well. It's like the story of two halves. We rushed the ball well. Uh, Cooper Rush, he did an okay job. He didn't do anything spectacular. 43% rate, 43% rating, and 56% completion rating, and two interceptions, I believe. So, nothing outstanding. But the running game was the key. We Gurley turned it on in the second half, and McFadden was in the first half. Both almost got 200 yards rushing. So, really, the ran they came back and tied the game in overtime, and they took the ball down, and um, we scored, and was able to. Um, Get a interception. They were driving down, got in the red zone, and we got lucky. He kind of chased Goff out of the way, and he tossed the ball, and um, Sean Lee picked it off, and it back to win the game. And then last week we played the Packers, and it was felt a lot like the Cardinal game. We just got whipped all over the field. Cooper Rush, yeah, he really struggled. Couldn't complete passes. Um, overall, just complete, completely got dominated. Definitely the worst game we played. 13 passing yards. Part of this too, my wife was streaming and her high speed internet of streaming at 1080p was giving me insane lag. Probably should have delayed the game, but I didn't want to waste Preston's time since it didn't seem to be affecting him. But going forward, I'm not going to play during her streams because it was, it, was, it was tough. But either way, I would have got demolished. His team was better. He ran the ball better. He passed the ball better. Just better execution all around. So it was great. Um, See Montgomery here, he really had a great game running and he busted the few at the end in the second half, pretty much just took the game over. Um, McFadden couldn't get going. He's really all our offense that we had. Um, receiving was just insane. So I think we had easily with two for seven was our leading receiver. That's just, that's awful. So we had two catches all by Beasley. Uh, that was quite embarrassing. So I got a lot of work to do. Got a bye week, should get Elliott back. Won't get Dak back. I may not get Elliott back. I need to go look at that and see because I think he's got two weeks. I don't know if this week counts as an injury week. So let's check that real quick. Overall, it's just been a very disappointing season. But, man, we got a lot of room to improve. So hopefully we can spend some more time. Yeah, so we got Alfred Morris out for three more weeks. Elliott, two more weeks. So I don't know if he'll be back after the bye or not. Hopefully he will. And then Prescott the week after. Um... So we're going to have to play one more game without Prescott. And there's a giant drop from Prescott to Cooper Rush. So we're going to have to definitely find us a backup quarterback in the draft this year. Or develop Cooper Rush. Mm. Let's see what else we got. Let's look at the NFC East before we wrap up. Just a few comments of how we're doing in the NFC East. Go through this. Before we do that, let's check and see the rush. I want to see my uh, confidence level. Because Cooper Rush might be just terrible. We'll check and see. 
No, you can't check it here. I'm going to go to the depth charts and check it out. I'm assuming his confidence is going to be shot because he's had a decent game against the Rams, but then he had a, I mean, just terrible, terrible game against the, against the uh, Packers. Well, his confidence is only 52, so maybe it was really high before. Or maybe it's not as dramatic as last Madden, so we'll see. McFadden is 53. Bryant is the guy we got to get the ball to. So I think the key to making our team better is getting Beasley, Bryant, Butler, and Williams uh, more involved in our game. we gotta, we got to find the, the passing route to get some run after catches. Um, we'll try to work on that over the bye week, do some test time in practice, and then get ready for the 49ers. Let's look at the NFC East real quick before we wrap up. I'll try to do like stats of NFC East, maybe go over all NFC later on, or maybe the all UFL, but see the Giants are in lead and Eagles two and two and Cowboys two and three and Redskins one and three. It's really the Giants and Eagles division. They're definitely the best players right now in the league in our NFC East. The, the Redskins are new owners, so we'll see how the unit I think it's his son who actually took over, so it'll be interesting to see how they do. Um, I'm sure he'll be a fierce competitor. So should be interesting to see how the NFC East plays out. We're going to have to beat the Giants if we want any chance at all. This in a rematch. We haven't played the Eagles yet, uh, but Max playing much better than us. I've lost a lot of his streams, so we got a lot of room to improve if we even want to think about finishing 500, much less winning the division. But hopefully we can get things turned around. Uh, we'll do next coaching the Cowboys in about a week, see if we've made things worse or if we figure figured out a way to fix this thing. But um, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we'll keep these going. All right. See you next time.